All right, let's talk about relative date filters in Salesforce. And I wanna show you how you can use relative dates or type in your own timeframes on both Salesforce reports and in Salesforce list views. So let's get into it. So in this case, I wanna go ahead and jump into a report and I want to create a report uh, to be able to see this information. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and look at leads. And what I would like to do is be able to type in the time frame myself rather than selecting dates. Uh, so in this case, you know, obviously this is a standard um, field here. Uh, and so I wanna open this up to all time records. But I also wanna narrow it down to maybe leads in a certain time frame. So I'm gonna add in a create date here. But rather than, than having it equal to, less than, greater than, a certain date, and picking a date myself, I wanna use a relative date. So as I click here, there's a few examples it gives you. It says you can enter in a relative date like yesterday, last week, next 30 days, etc. And there's a lot of options that you can use for relative dates. And there's a great help article here from Salesforce that actually goes through all of those different options that you're able to reference in these date filters. So great, great reference uh, that, that you can have and type in your own time frame. So instead of picking a date, I could type in, for example, last year. And this is gonna show me all records that were created last year. Now this is an old sandbox, so all records, all these leads are from last year create date. So if I were to update, update that to this year, for example, it's gonna look at only leads that were created this year, which there's none. Now again, I can put it here, let me put last uh, 300 days. See what records were created in the last 300 days. And see there's a test record there. And so that's the great part about relative dates is you're able to really set your time frame. So if your company looks at maybe month over month, or it looks at you know 90 day periods, you're able to put that in a relative date on filters for your report. Now, not only are relative dates on reports, you can also add them to list views. So let's go ahead and jump into the leads list view and show you what this looks like. So here I am on the leads list view, and I wanna show you how this works here. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into, we'll say unread leads. And you'll notice here, on the filters that there's no date filter. So maybe for example, I want to see create date. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add a filter for the create date. And now I can type in that relative date. So let's say I want to look at relative dates from last year. I go and type in last year and it will accept that as a filter. If I hit save here, you'll see that it's gonna save. All these create dates are from last year, so it's very helpful there, as we mentioned on the report. But let's say that I want a create date for this year, just to show you how it is accepting this information. I'm gonna hit save, and again, none will appear. If you recall in the report, there were uh, some that were created in the last, I think, 300 days, so let me put that in here as a relative date filter. Save that, and there should just be that one test record that appears, oh, I'm going to take out that. And here's that one test record. So again, this is relative dates are able to be done on reports as well as list views. Uh, feel free to reference that Salesforce help article to know all the different options that you have there. And again, best of luck as you customize your reports and get a better understanding of relative date filters. Thanks.